Hey guys, Andy here. I've got what I hope will be quite a useful app for you today. Um, the bottom line is it turns your notifications into more stock Android looking notifications. So if you own a Samsung device like me or maybe a Xiaomi like me, um, you, you don't like how the notification bar looks and the toggles, the quick toggles at the top. You would prefer just the nice, clean, simple stock Android looking um, uh, arrangements. So we have this app called PowerShade. Now, I suppose first of all, actually, I'll just show you what it looks like. So if I pull down, you can see the quick toggles at the top. We can pull again and we get the expanded. You can obviously drop things in and out. Now, it's not as, um, what's the word? It's not, you might be missing some bits that you would have in your main usual uh, arrangement. So for my Samsung, I can't bring in the power settings like you have as normal. Um, but most of the stuff is there basically all the sort of usual stuff is there so if we go back up there we go so see it there I've got a lot of notifications at this point because I've, I've not had the phone booted up for a few days and poof, they've all come flying through um, I like at the bottom to be honest I'm not even sure I don't normally have this many notifications so I'm not sure that you normally see it like that at the bottom they all kind of stack along and then they slide back in as <laughs> you slide up I like that uh, it's easy enough to, I mean, you have to just dismiss like any other one would. If I wanted to snooze something till later, what I like here is there's more options. So we've got a whole day. I love that. There might be some things I think, mm, do you know what? I'm not dealing with that today. I'm going to snooze it till tomorrow. Fantastic. So for now, I'm going to snooze it for 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just, I think is very neat looking. So let's go and look at some of the options. First of all, let's just tap on the eye. So you see here, it's all very well laid out. See how that sort of transitioned? I do like that. Um, so there's various bits you can do in there. Obviously, we've got it turned on. This one thing that I don't use, a trigger. If you watch over on the, on the side here, as so I turn it on, so it basically, oh, we're, we're in the settings, so we're just moving it, I suppose. Basically, that lets you bring your notification bar down by swiping it from the side. Um, not something that I particularly want to do. So I haven't, uh, I haven't used that. Colors, so at the minute we're sort of the regular sort of white or light, I suppose. We can make it dark. Now it only does the actual, we're talking the actual notifications here. I'll come to the top bit in a moment. So that's an option. Dynamic color is what I've usually had it on, which is quite nice. So if the app has a sort of color linked to it, the notification is that color, that's quite cool. Um, you can obviously manually adjust them all. You've got you've got background blur and other things like that, but they're pretty funky. So layout, some of these, quite honestly, I mean, they're very small changes. I don't particularly notice the difference in a lot of them, but you can change the amount of grid columns and stuff on the, at different points for that, which is all quite cool. Max group notifications, brightness slider, with the position of the brightness slider, so that's all quite handy. And then some extras. Now, I've got the paid version. If I'm quite honest, I can't remember which of these bits are paid and which of them are in the like free version, but it was only a pound something or other. Um, please do support your devs. This is a nicely coded app. Please do support your devs. Me being a dev and all that, um, <laughs> I feel I should say that. But some, you know, there's apps that I've put literally, well, not literally months, I suppose. You're not just constantly coding for a month, but you can put a lot of time into apps sometime. And it, if you've done a good job, it's nice to be rewarded. It's only a couple of quid at most. Anyway, let's come back to it. So, custom background image. So we go and select that. I go to Android system. So basically, we're going to use. An image and I'm going to use this one that's fine crop done done and there's there's my logo look that's pretty cool I think that is pretty cool I mean I don't know but what all I'm thinking is so if you wanted to change it to a black background you just put a black image in there um, that's easy enough to do so that's pretty much it's not it's not a massively complex app but it's just it's really well done it looks really nice it helps you get to that stock Android look um, I have had a couple of issues with it. Well, no, the only issue that I sometimes have had is kind of almost phantom notifications, or it's just not displaying the notification properly. But it, it's happened very few and far between. I don't see it being a massive issue. It's not something to put me off. So that and the missing out on some of my uh, device-specific toggles are the only thing, the only sort of negatives. But all around, really nice app. Yeah, I'm sure hopefully, hopefully, I'm sure you'll agree. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now. My name's Andy, and I will catch you all again soon. Well done, and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. 
Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos, which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also, come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or request me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.